Welcome everybody to the CGF and Beaver show, proudly brought to you by bedeasy.com.au. He's Beaver, and I'm CGF, and there's been a smash up on social media. Yes. I have been attacked. <laughs> you have been carved up on the Bed Easy blog, CGF, and on Facebook with Bed Easy. They are flogging you, they're giving it to the Beaver as well, but they can't say too much about the Beaver because he backs winners. But you, CGF, it you know, ran second, my best bet ran second. You know what second. they're saying about your CGF? What? Debbie's got on the blog and said CGF stands for cash gone forever. <laughs> Thanks Debs, <laughs> love you too. I thought that was gold, that was a cracker. Mm. Well anyway, I hopefully can redeem myself. I have been pretty average. Yeah. I, I put my hand up, I've been average. She did, they did say Micmac, you know, you, you should never have hopped off. I said Micmac and I got talked out of it by Beaver. Yeah well. Anyway, I'm not going to uh, listen to him anymore. Let's get on with the punting. We're going to look at a couple of races. A race at Caulfield, a couple at Warwick Farm and one at Doombin. Yep. And one of our best bets, our each ways and everything else. So we're going to go to Caulfield race six, the Sir John Monash Stakes, which in a lot of ways is the start of the lead up to the Spring Carnival. Yeah. And, and I know it's a long, long way away, yep. but it's not that long way away, actually. Yeah, a couple of... Sort of 12, 14 weeks, and we, we'll be watching the Melbourne Cup. Yep. So, John Monash, it's over a thousand metres, and Atomic Force has been scratched. What do you yep. like? 1100, I think, CGF. 1100? Yep. What did I say? 1000 metres? 1100. Sorry. 100. Not a good start. Yep. I like Mrs. Onassis. Um, last campaign, CGF won the Oakley Plates. Um, this, is in a, this is a racing two, or appears to be a racing two. So, you're flipping the coin here. Um, I think it's probably got a little bit of class on Happy Galaxy, so I'm going the little bit better odds, uh, $3.50 ish. Um, I think it can get the chockies. Yeah, look, it's got a, uh, it's got a uh, kilo and a half pull yep. on uh, Miss uh, Happy Galaxy, but I'm going to go Happy Galaxy. Won the expressway last time in. I think it's a horse on the way up. Yep. Love the Hawks, uh, love Dwayne Dunn, barrier six, paying three bucks. I'll take it. Yep. So that's Caulfield race six, the Sir John Melnish. That takes us to Warwick Farm race six. And what do you like there? Yeah, uh, tough race, uh, plenty of chances, but I'm gonna go for bereft. Um, around the $6.50 mark. Look, the form's not flash, um, but it has been racing in better races than this against some decent quality horses. It's got uh, the apprentice on board to get the three kilo claim. Gets in about 51 kgs, that might be enough to get it home. So uh, I think at the $6.50, not bad CGF. I like number six, Sacred Flyer. Yep. Um, I've mentioned it before. Chris Waller, uh, Glenn Schofield, 1,600 metres. Uh, it's got a pretty good record. You look at its form through, yep. I, I think that's the value. I th it's, a, it's, it's a tough race. It's, it's I was just worried about the old second up syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my only concern there, see, Jeff. But picking up, it's not, picking up form's not that bad. So yeah. anyway, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with Waller. He could sit, sit on a broomstick and win at the moment. You do that. Absolutely killing it. Race eight is the Share Care Respite. Share Care and Respite. <laughs> That's what I've been copying this week. I'll tell you, <laughs> Share Care and Respite. Handicap over 1,200 metres. And I am going to go right down to the bottom, number 18, Emblems. Peter Snowden and Kieran McAvoy. Yep. You're going to get about six, let me, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. You're going to get about $6.50. Yep. $6.50 for Emblems. Form's been pretty good. Um, look, it's, it's there's, there's a lot of horses in there that could mm. win, could, but I think there's only a few horses that can win. Yeah. And I'm thinking that Emblems is a real chance. Big field, plenty of chances. Yeah, crossed my, caught my eye emblems, but it's not what I'm going to tip. I'm going for upshot uh, from the Joey Pride stable. Got got good services aboard of Bowman. I think its form in recent times has been pretty good for a race like this. I think it might just camp off them, and if they're coming home all right and hard at uh, Warwick Farm, I think it can win the race. So I'm going to go eight dollars upshot each way all day. Eight bucks, jeez. I'm Jeez. out there. The Jeez. fans won't believe it. They're bagging me, me the things I tip, the odds. Look, cop that one, fellas. Race seven is the, at Doombin, is the Tattersall's Mile. So we're clicking over to, it's over 1,600 metres. Uh, reasonable sort of field. Um, there's a couple of standouts here. I like number nine, Lucky Hustler. Yep. The Hustler. 
Well, I'm loaded. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to be the two knocking it out. I mean, yep. Lucky Hustlers, $2.10 uh, loaded, what, three bucks? Four bucks. Four bucks. So I've gone for the, the value there, CGF. I've uh, been on him the last couple of starts. I'm, I also backed Lucky Hustler last start, and I thought it was slightly disappointing. It's been up for a while now. Um, just keeps finding one better than it, and I think it's found one better again this week. I think Loaded will win. The, the mail from the Bookie Boys, uh, they're a follow on Beaver as well. They reckon Loaded is a pretty good, much a good thing. They're willing to even lay Lucky Hustler, so they've probably heard you're on CGF, <laughs> is what I'm guessing, so. It never stops, never stops on this Loaded show. for me. Right here then, um, take us through some of the other bets. Some of the other bets? Gonna go Caulfield race three, number one, Serene Star. Round $2.50 mark. Kent, one of my favorite trainers with Nolan. Loves this track, loves this distance. Can it carry 60 kilos though? Yeah, it can carry 60 CGF. It, it's always generally around the top weight. I, I must so. say, I do agree with you one thing. Caulfield's its track. Yeah, it loves it there. And uh, I don't think it's there's too much in this race that can beat it. So really like that. And I like Warwick Farm, up and comer. Race two, number four, short shift from the Matthew Smith stable. When he brings them to town, they usually got ability. He's got the service of Blake Shin aboard, who's riding very well, couple of winners today. Um, so I'll be on that as well. So there me two other bets. Uh, I like it, Caulfield race one, number two, change of honor. It's a BC3 thoroughbred originally. I know Simon Marshall had a big rap on it last season out. Uh, it ran in the, uh, a restricted race at Ballarat when they actually ran the opposite way right. around. Yeah and it ran third, and we got on the wrong leg, and then it won at Caulfield, and then it went up to the Magic Millions. Um, it's owned by, it's run by the Gills Go Racing Syndicate. It's paying 12 and three each way bet there. Quite like that. You're all over that one, CGF. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've been doing a lot of study, I need yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, you're, right. to. <laughs> you're up in your game. You the know. other one I'm keen at is the last race, is number 13, Loot and Run. It you might be I'm... time to loot and run. <laughs> you know a bit about that. <laughs> $5.50, I think you're gonna get uh, some value there. And I did note in my uh, three hours of study last night, Doombin uh, race six, number eight, inside job. <laughs> so we got a bit of loot and run, we got a bit of an inside job. It's paying uh, three bucks, but it's David Fife has taken it up from Warwick Farm. Um, so I quite like that, and Tim Bill's on it, so it's paying three a, bucks. I might do a fixed odds multi on that one, CGF. Yeah, look, I mean. Throw me money down the toilet, following your tips, but hey, it sounds like fun. Hey, we're here to, we're here to, I've done the research, yep. and we will be doing a thorough review of this show next week, just to see, we're, right? we're going to put you on the spot, and yep. we're going to really come up with some Well, some let's words. hope so, CGF, because the bloggers were mightily unhappy last week that hey. the best bet offer was on your, <laughs> your horse and not mine. Sorry about that one as well. Ballpoint and Eurozone will turn out to be two of the best three-year-olds running around next season. Yeah. Put money on it. Uh, what's your best bet of the day? My best bet of the day is in Caulfield, race four, number three, Space. Yeah, I had a look at it. Uh, only had a, a few starts from the Hickmott stable, Schofield aboard, really like this one. I think you won't get $4 on race day. I think you'll find that comes right in. Um, one of the bookie boys told me he's got a real liking for its Fred at 50s in the race, so he's gonna be upset when the beaver comes in Monday and Space is a uh, Dubai destination out of a Zabil Mewit. Yeah. Wants them to run along. Yep. Does that can win? Yeah, it's up to 2,000 from the 1,600 last start, so I really like that one. Now, my best bit of the day, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Doobin, race Switch one, off. number four, Cape Kidnappers. What's that, dollar ten CGF? Dollar ninety. Oh, uh, yeah. Winners of Grinners, first race. I'm yeah. gonna, the blog will be going mental at race. By race two, it'll be CGF's an absolute wizard. Yeah, yeah they'll, be, they'll be chuffed at you. Anyway, you'll have plenty of money then to load into uh, Caulfield race one, number two, change of honour, and it'll just go, it'll just be making money from there. Happy days, you'll have plenty to put on beavers. Bedeasy.com.au, what's their uh, offer? Before the offer, just wanted to give a couple of tips from the bookie boys. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we don't forget, keep them happy. They like to, you know, spruik a bit. Um, Caulfield race to number three Kukla. They said each way is about six dollars. And their best of the day is Belmont. They love the Belmont race five number seven Dark Delight. It's odds on. They've bagged the but the Beaver all day every day about tipping odds on shots. And here they go again. Odds on last week. Odds on this week. 
but they're winners. Soon as touch. And that's why I like the bookie boys, because yeah, yeah. they're winners. Yeah, we well, can't go broke back on winners. That's what I say, CGF. You can't go broke. That's what I say. So, a couple of winners there from the bookie boys. Just keep back in their ones at Belmont. They do win. So, what's your offer? Me offer. I'm up in it. I'm up in the ante this week, CGF. Refund again on Beaver's Best Bet. $50 this week on the Beaver's Best Bet. If it gets done, we'll refund your 50 in bonus bets. That's what I'm doing. Jesus. I'm confident. Don't forget to send it me in your pin number to the beaver at beteasy.com.au so we can pay you if I happen to lose. But get on. Share me. Sh hey, listen, folks. Share the beaver and or CGF and beaver show with your friends. Get them on board. Get them on the bet easy. We got winners. You know it. We know it. Happy days. Um, That's it. Brilliant. Let's go. Love it. That's another edition of the CGF and Beaver Show brought to you by bedeasy.com.au. Good punting, responsible punting. Have a great weekend. And uh, we will be having a, a jury session this time next Thursday to see who came up with the winners on a 3-2-1 system. And uh, pretty confident that I'll be the uh, man smiling. That's good. And get on that blog. We love the feedback. Thank see you, you soon. Cheers, pal.